Good morning. Good morning. I'm so excited to speak to you because you have one of the most unique foods I've ever seen in my life. There's this white bubbly outer layer. She peels the cap off and then she reaches inside. Oh, oh my God. This is a very dangerous yeah. food. When it comes to food, India is one of the most wide ranging countries in the world. Mm. Oh. In the north, you'll find classics like tandoori chicken. In the south, you'll discover crispy mouth-watering dosas. That's the best dosa I've ever had. But Indian food can also include this. Oh my God. Though you won't find it represented in any international Indian restaurants, food like rat soup, curry made from guinea pigs, or even wasp larva can be found in India. This is the creepiest thing I've ever seen. But even though foods like this do exist here, most mainland Indians would be shocked to see them or would shun them altogether. People from North India, are they curious about the bug eating? No, they're no, no, very no. skeptical about it. So if people are a bit apprehensive, um, what are they coming here to see? What do you do when you go out and hunt and get way too many squirrels and rats? Well, you do this. You mummify them. This section of the country right here is known as the Northeastern region. The area makes up 8% of India and it's comprised of eight states. The treasures of your hunt, your bounty, what have you gotten? That's right. Here, you'll discover societies that are completely different from the rest of mainland India. Why are you so delicious? My dog. My dog. People and tribes with different looks, cultures, religions, and more than anything, people with vastly different food. We can start with tapioca. Okay, yes. It's a little overcooked. It's supposed to be overcooked? Yes, yes. Oh, okay. Why don't they just call it cooked then? Like countryside folks in Assam who eat pork and mutton. People are crazy about pork in Assam right now. They said why they haven't tried it before. But also supplement their diet with a variety of bug species. From woodworms. They are very tasty. To silkworm pupa. At this point, they don't even have eyeballs anymore. Like what even is this? Can you eat it like this? Yes. Really? In Assam's capital, you'll find delicious savory curries made hearty with a smattering of pigeon meat. The peppery pigeon curry is, is a good medicine for flu and cold. But you'll feel better, I think, after this. Okay. <coughs> I think you need to have some pigeon curry as well. Yeah. <laughs> In the state of Nagaland, there are no limits on what's okay to eat. So anything goes? Yes. Dog meat? Yes. Cat? Yes, of course. Available protein options here include cat, dog, rat, or these guys, guinea pigs, sold fresh at the local market. When is the last time you prepared guinea pigs? Since yesterday. Oh my, this is fantastic. I feel like I'm in a different world right now and I'm really enjoying it. Then there's India's most controversial food, beef, banned or regulated in 20 out of 28 states. But here in the mountains of Kohima, we've come upon a once in a lifetime celebration. A feast expected to feed up to 5,000 people attending the event here on this mountain far, far from any other village or city. A celebration where dozens of cows will be slaughtered. The slaughtering method here, shooting the animal with a rifle. India is a wildly diverse country with strong opinions over whose way of life is the correct way of life. People are like, oh, you have this kind of things. You eat this kind of things. Like, how do you survive? Naturally, this leads to disagreements. If it was up to you, would Nagaland be completely independent? It must happen. <laughs> and people in some parts of this country don't feel accepted by the mainstream. If we go to mainland India, sometimes they discriminate us as Chinese, as Japanese or whatever. They themselves did not claim us as one of them. We feel disgraced, mm. and so we don't feel we are Indian. In this series, I'm on a mission to learn more about a region of India few know or understand. Because if this land is India, then this and this and this are all Indian food. You're going to see it all in 24 hours. How, um, how many people have you killed? Oh, okay. Uh, he had killed four. Yeah, four enemies. The necklace, the heads on this symbolize how many person they have killed. Wow. Those days they were like enemies, the different villages. But he said that as of now, he has also made peace with all those village members. He don't have that such kind of bitterness towards them. Yeah. How do they feel about him though? Uh, that. I mean.